Hello, my fellow YouTubers. Welcome to Roy's Edley Scallon Workshop. All right, we're going to show some quick little studies on uh, transfer of energy. Right here is a piece of plastic. I'm touching this on purpose because I just put a charge in there. Okay, just whatever I do, put the charge in there. Now, obviously, you can see that it's pushing away from my finger because I put the same, my charge, into that piece. But what if I would take a beer bottle, put my hand on it, and all of a sudden I bring it in? So there's an attraction going on right here. And let's go ahead and touch the bottle. Let's transfer energy over. Now we're going to pull the bottle away, and then now we're going to go ahead and you just see how we stop that thing from swinging? That's done by energy, and right now my hand's off of it, and it's repelling that piece of plastic. And that's what, I think it's a piece of zip tie. I got it hanging from my rafter up there. So let's go ahead and touch the bottle and see if we see it do anything. Let's move a little closer. So right now I'm touching the bottle and it's pulling a little bit to it, but it's also flipping back. So I'm going to untouch the bottle, but this time I'm going to move the beer around in the bottle. So we got to be building up some kind of charge, I would think. All right, let's go ahead and touch the plastic. Transfer the energy over to the plastic. So what is going on here? So negative ions, which is the what I'm saying instead of electrons, negative ions are moving from the charge of the glass into the plastic so we're going to pull it away and look it, it kind of stuck to it now let's go ahead and you can see there's let's turn the bottle see if that has anything to do with anything how reactive that plastic is but what I'm doing is I'm taking a swig of it okay there's a gas build up inside the bottle when you do that okay and that gas has a charge in there now watch what happens when I move it over nothing right right now it's not even responding to the bottle right now I let go of it, and then it moves away from the bottle. Watch, I touch it. Well, now it's touching the bottle, so it's transfer of power. So let's go ahead and make some gas here. Right? We got buzz. There we go. So look at what the gas is actually doing to the plastic. Let's move the bottle up. Let's touch it together, transfer the energy over, separate it, and now we come back. Watch, watch how we we control that plastic. Let's see if I can get it rocking here. Look, oh, I touched it. So this is just a pretty sample. See it moving? Pretty example. A good example, actually. Of it's pushing away. Pushing is pushing it away. So transfer of energy, guys. Yeah, dog. I'm all over this.
this right now. So let's talk real quick about the north, the south, the east, and the west energies. Now, from learning from Ed Lee Scallon, he really ties in the energies that is alternating and he talks about the materials briefly and how they have the energy in them and they're all little magnets and he also says in the beginning of this magnetic current book is to look east i'm not referencing look east to what he was saying but i'm looking east to what I've done, done and went deeper into what Ed was saying. So I'm not really a religious man, but I am and always been since I can remember a spiritual person. And I started to re reach out of my envelope of learning about Tesla, Edley Scallon, and all the peeps we could read about on Google back, and too many to mention. But what I'm saying is, I'm now bringing the Bible and the New Testament, the Old Testament, uh, Book of Genesis, into what I'm learning and I'm seeing a, a, a really great connection between what I've been learning and God I would say so for us humans right here on this planet if you look east which we're looking east right now the energy that's flowing from the east to the west, there's an angel. There's seven angels, but four represent the crops. So you have east. That angel on east is Raphael. Raphael is a archangel. And then if you look west, now that energy from Raphael is coming in. So you could go in your pineal gland and you can meditate and talk to Raphael. And what you can do is have that energy come in. And then over here on the west, you have Ga Gabriel. And Gabriel is pulling the power from you. So when you talk to Gabriel, when you meditate, he is pulling stuff out of you. It could be anger. It could be hatred. It could be things that you just don't want. And it's there all the time. And you, So Gab Gabriel will help pull that out. Raphael will bring that energy in. If you look north, the archangel for north is Uriel. Uriel is the archangel of light, light of God. If you were to look south, we're looking at Michael, the archangel Michael. And look, I have south right there. Look right there. I got east right there. There's east. There's south. These are the only reason they're on the wall is because I put copper wire running in different directions to, and did a lot of studies with that. Running pulses in it, running DC in it, running alternating current through it. So I have a, a good knowledge of just the environment, natural medium, <clears throat> how it reacts in a copper wire. But here we're talking about archangels and what I like to just tell everybody is 
I'm 55 years old. Never been a religious man, but I've been a spiritual man. So it's time for me to kind of read some of the religions. Look at the angels that are in all the religions and kind of use those as good reference points to look into. Now, these angels that I mentioned through here, if you look at that direction and you meditate to that angel, that angel will help you in your daily life. It will help you understand life. It will help you get through stuff. Things will happen to you if you believe in it. And here we are walking tuning forks. So trust me, my friends. Trust me. Tap in. This is new to me. I've been very spiritual. I meditate through my pineal gland. I've been doing it since I was very, very young. Didn't even know what the pineal gland was, but I felt the vibration there. And I would focus on that vibration and make it stronger. If any of you guys out there ever had that happen to you, please leave your comments. Leave your comments. There's a lot of tying in to do here. Don't let the beer really fool you because I worked hard today. It's my first beer. And truthfully, I see the energy around me. And I see when we touch things or if we feel things or we think of things. And internally, if we become angry or happy, we are working off of a lower self. And that lower self needs to be managed. Leave your comments, guys. Peace out, my brothers. Peace out.